All right. So what we want to be able to do is actually use these things in the real world. And um, I honestly do this a lot. I um, figure out problems, whether, whether I'm framing my house or figuring out something for my job or my, my business. Uh, I keep bees and I'm always figuring out, hey, you know what? I've got this and the beehive takes up this much space and I've got to fit 10 frames. I need space in between them. How big is each frame? So we're applying this to real world situations, just solving equations using inverse operations, right? And um, it says this, it says one useful application of algebra is to determine a unit of what a unit of measurement represents. For instance, if a person uses a unit time of score in a speech and there is enough information given, you can determine how long that score is. And here's what happened, right? In, in 1963, none of you were born, Dr. Martin Luther King began his famous I Have a Dream speech with the words, five score years ago, a great American whose symbolic shadow we stand signed the Emancipation Proclamation. The proclamation was signed by President Abraham Lincoln in 1863. Well, but how long is a score? We can use some algebra to figure it out, right? So, if it is now 1963, and it was signed in 1863, we realized that that was 100 years ago. So five times a score, we're gonna use X for a score, right? X represents the number of years in a score is equal to 100. And if I do an inverse operation, divide by five, divide by five, I find that X is 20, and therefore a score is 20 years. And all we got to do is figure out how to set it up and then use inverse operations. So, there's another example here. I'm going to scroll down just a little bit. <laughs> scroll in, zoom. It's weird because I'm just making a camera a little closer. Um, an airplane descends in altitude from 20,000 to 10,000 feet. A gauge at radar traffic control reads the airplane's altitude drops. What is that? 1.8939 miles for how many feet are in a mile? Well, so we drop from 20,000 to 10,000 feet. So I'm gonna say 10,000 here, all right? That means I dropped 10,000 feet, all right? And we wanna solve how many miles that is. So we're gonna make M the number of feet in a mile, all right? So, we know this. We know that what they said, 1.8939 miles is equal to 10,000 feet. So it's equal to 10,000 feet there as well, and I wanna get in by itself. Well, that says 1.8939 miles, that's multiplication, so we're gonna divide by 1.8939, 1.8939, eight nine three nine and I'm gonna do it on a calculator actually I see the answer over here so I'm gonna tell you that 10,000 divided by 1.8939 is 5,280 feet I'm gonna go ahead and say feet I'm gonna let that measurement be there all right kind of cool I'm gonna do one for you and then I'm gonna let you do the next one an ostrich that is 108 inches tall is 20 inches taller than four times the height of a kiwi. So let's talk about that, right? We'll say the height of a kiwi. We'll say x equals height of a kiwi. All right. So look, the 108 inch tall ostrich, watch how we write this, is, watch, 20 more, a little tricky, isn't it, than four times the kiwi. That's literally how you set that up. 20 more than four times the kiwi. So we're gonna subtract 20 from both sides, all right? What I get is 88 is equal to four times the kiwi. That's multiplication, so we're gonna do divide by four, and that'll tell us the kiwi is 22 inches tall. Kinda cool, huh? 
All right, so I'm going to leave this one for you to try in case we've done it in class. There's a good chance we've done it in class. All right, this is a fast class. We've got to get through things. How do you know which operation to perform when solving an equation? We choose the inverse. So addition gives us subtraction, right? Multiplication gives us division, right? Likewise, d subtraction gives us addition and division gives us multiplication, all right? How do you create an equation by using the properties of equality. How can you create an equation by using the properties of equality? Well, that's a great question. Always use inverses. All right. What problem involves more than when a problem involves more than one unit for a characteristic such as length? How can you tell which unit is more appropriate to report the answer is? Ooh, that's a great question as well. All right. Um, well, I guess it's uh, if we're talking about an airplane, we're going to be talking about miles, right? Because sometimes the size of the unit. helps determine which is appropriate. Uh, I'm going to talk about a flight to the moon. I'm not going to say, hey, how many inches is the moon? We're going to probably be talking miles, right? Um, and I'm going to circle this one. And you try that well as well if you haven't done it. And we're going to stop this, and that's the first lesson. See you guys.